Welcome back, everybody, to the Canadian Circus Show. In this one, I'm going to be looking at Stephen Jobo and some Kenny Rogers-looking dude talking about Tucker Carlson, how it's such a dangerous threat to democracy to allow him into Canada, and all that jazz. And we're going to be looking at a promise that Trudeau made at the start of his, uh, his first term, before getting in. He promised electoral reform. And all of a sudden now, when his popularity is in the tank, now he is getting into a secret meeting with Jug Meat to look at electoral reform. Seems a little fishy. One year before he is going to run into an election, and now he wants to change it to more reflect what could be a great way to cheat. Without further ado, let's get into it. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet. Alright, here we are. Here's one of the videos. First on the list, we've got Bill Gates' son or brother on the side. On the left. And then we got... Kenny Rogers on the uh, just beside him and then I don't know who this is and then we got this pinhead over here let's hear him uh, notamment au Québec et oh, on gosh. se laissera pas faire yeah, yeah. Okay. so uh, we're here I'm here with my colleagues Liberal Caucus members ministers all to talk about what happened last night in Edmonton when the Premier of the province of Alberta Daniel Smith invites Tucker Carlson right into the heart of my writing you can tell a lot about a person by the company they keep. And I have knocked those doors in Edmonton Center. And I know how progressive a riding. Oh yes, we could tell a lot about a person by the company they keep. You know when uh, Justin Trudeau invited that Nazi into the House of Commons from Ukraine? Yeah, you see? We could tell a lot about the, pe about the company people keep. Uh, so I guess Justin Trudeau is a Nazi because he, he uh, celebrated a known Nazi in the House of Commons? Good take there, bud. Edmonton Center is. I've represented it since 2015. And for Danielle Smith to bring the mouthpiece of the mega conservative far right to Edmonton Center to spew hate about LGBTQ2 people is beyond the pale. It's deplorable and we won't stand for it. And I can tell you it is completely unacceptable for the premier of any province to say that she wants to put a target on the back of any Canadian politician and my friend and colleague Stephen Gilbo simply for doing his job. You can have respectful discourse in this country. You can raise the issue. You can bang your fist on a table at a FedProv meeting. That's all legit. But you do not summon the dogs of MAGA conservatism to come and somehow scare, try to scare us and to... Oh, come on. The dogs of MAGA. You know, this is... This is really tired and really old. Are they going to go on about this forever? It's so insane. Is this your uh, your uh, strategy coming into the next election? Is to to associate uh, Tucker uh, to associate uh, Tucker Carlson? Oh, God, to associate Polyev with uh, Donald Trump? I mean, is that really going to work? I mean, if this fractured time in Canada, is that really going to work? You know what that happened in, in uh, the United States when everything was fractured? Donald Trump killed that election and he won. So, I mean, if they want to push him further into, into the lead, then go ahead. And, and then they even try to deny the shit, too. It's so ridiculous. These people are so insane. To try to incite violence against politicians of any stripe, it's not acceptable. And if she would take her job seriously, she'd actually be focused on housing, on climate change, on actually solving the issues of Albertans, like forgetting her ridiculous proposal on CPP, instead of trying to summon... I love how the uh, the, the reporters actually push back on this clown job, too. I mean, they, they even ask them, okay, can you define what the hate is? I love it. Uh, evil forces from the United States to try to take on one of our colleagues. Uh, I can't stand when they talk in French. 
Let's hear Harry Potter. And the fact that I was targeted. Let's hear Bill Gates. Bill Gates look alike. I mean, this goes beyond me and the fact that I was targeted last night at, at this event. This increases political violence against everyone who runs for office in this country, whether they're doing it at the municipal level, at the provincial level, or at the federal level. As my friend and colleague Randy said, like we can have differences of opinion. We can bang our fist on, on, on the table when, when, when we meet. We can have strong disagreement. But, but, but to, to, to incite violence against people who disagree with you, that's not how things should be done in can Canada. Can you clarify what is the violence? What is the violence? I, I think the minister also said this in French. What is the violence that they are bringing to Canada? What is the political violence that you're talking about? Just to be very clear. Well, exactly. To put, to, to put a, a target on, on someone's back, for example. To name that's not violence, man. That, that, that's nothing specific. It's like, I want to put a target on me. What the hell is that? That's inciting violence? What the hell do you mean? Evil, to put someone in crosshairs. Say here. I mean, put someone in the crosshairs. He didn't really define it that much better. <laughs> like, what a clown. These people are so stupid. Uh, spewing hate speech about LGBTQ people. Spewing hate speech. God, can you friggin' define hate speech? For crying out loud, man, can these people not define anything? It's like these random terms. I mean, I'm so sick and tired of them not being able to define anything. It's like, oh, it's just hate speech. Such a broad umbrella term. It's like, so that, that, that will just suck everything in. Anything could be hate speech. If you define it as such, it's, it's ridiculous. It's such nonsense. Just come up with something trying to bring the kind of division that they have in the United States north of the border. Um, MAGA style conservatism has no place in Canada and it's MAGA trying to reach style. into through our borders. And as Minister Rodriguez has said, conservative premiers, instead of doing their jobs, are trying to invite this wave of populism. And I can tell you, it's making newcomers nervous and fearful. People in the LGBTQ community do not feel safe. We have people who want to run for office that take a look at what happened last night in Edmonton and say, why bother? Good for the political commons. And it's not good for Canadian. I guarantee people are not looking at that and saying, oh, why bother? Oh my God, you had Tucker Carlson. Oh, I can't run for office now. This is such a scary atmosphere. Get out of here, you clown. Go get some more friggin' turtle wax for your head. Democracy. Mr. Rodriguez, you brought, up, you brought up Pierre Polyev's name in your comments. I mean, oh, here is we this going to be your, effect, your strategy well, effectively going forward is tying Pierre to be, Polyev to Trump? He wants to be prime minister of this country. These, what happened last night is not acceptable. Is he going to condemn that? If he wants to run for prime minister, he should have the courage to condemn those. It's not acceptable. So is that going to be your strategy? People attended, sir. I, I mean, what do you make of the fact that there is an audience for it and for for their perspective? Well, as, as I said in French, the extreme right po po politics, when, don't ask the question if it's coming to Canada. It's already here. Is this oh, wait, wait. Did he say extreme white or extreme right? It's not like he says extreme white. That's a racist term there, buddy. Don't ask the question if it's coming to Canada. It's already here. And they're bringing it. Can go back for their perspective. Well, as, as I said in French, the extreme right po po politics. Okay, it's, it's his accent. Don't ask the I think question he said if right. it's coming to Canada. It's already here. Qu'on arrête de parler de politique, puisqu'on vous parlait de McDonald's, faut qu'on parle vraiment de nous ce qu'on fait sur le terrain. En quoi est-ce que ce que vous nous annoncez en ce moment, c'est en lien avec ce que vous faites sur le terrain? Vous aussi, vous êtes dans le domaine de la politique. More French. Ben, on fait la politique par la. And here we go. Listen to this Harry Potter, Bill Gates-looking clown say that they're not comparing Polyev to Trump. I guess he doesn't even know what kind of ads they're putting out there because it's ridiculous. Obviously, he's. They're doing a massive comparison. That is their shtick. Here and comparing Polyev to this and making this about him, are you not contributing to the divide by doing that? If your government has been accused... We're not, we're not comparing Polyev to him. I think what... what You're my, not? Have you looked at your own advertising from Mr. 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 What Mr. Rodriguez... That is hilarious how they're saying even the even the the, the lamestream media <laughs> said you're not comparing him to, to Trump? Have you not looked at your own ads? I mean, seriously, it's like... <laughs> These guys are so dumb. They can't. Uh, they can't get away from it. It's it's just so ridiculous. Well, I, I'm done with this. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. 
All right, so here we are. Here's some of the stuff that they want to do. Okay, well, not a full-scale overhaul like they planned. Like they, they wanted to get rid of the first pass, the post system. They're not going to do that. So not a full-scale overhaul of the federal voting system as Prime Minister Justin Trudeau once promised within the two-party confidence and supply agreement are a series of electoral reforms proposals aimed at expanding the ability for people to vote. I think it's more the ability for liberals to cheat, in my honest opinion. But, uh, I mean, look what happened in the States. I mean, that was a fiasco. Uh, okay, sir. Specifically, the liberals and New Democrats agreed to explore allowing an expanded three-day voting period during general elections. So, now they're going to Widen. I, I wish they would just keep that. A one-day voting was fine. It's fine as it's working right now. Now they're going to allow you to vote over a three-day period, which is, to me, it's... I don't even know why they got to change it now. All of a sudden, now they got to change it. Just before a new election, Justin Trudeau is in the tanks with his poll numbers. So is, uh, so is Jugmeet Singh. I mean, potentially, he could become the... Uh, the opposition leader, uh, as the liberals are standing right now, they're they're tanked in the polls. Uh, I could see the liberals coming up and taking over the Lib- or sorry, the the NDP coming up and taking over the liberals to become the actual official <laughs> the official uh, opposition. That would be actually kind of cool because it'd be hilarious to watch. Justin Trudeau, if he stayed on his leader as the liberals, it'd be awesome to see him. <laughs> be the third string oh man that would be such a blow to his uh, fragile eagle and his uh <laughs> his 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 immense big head and pride uh, uh, man that would be such a blow to him because he's got such a massive ego and uh, he could barely fit his head through the door so okay here's so uh, allowing voters to cast their ballots at any polling place within their writing so I could go anywhere I don't have to go I don't know man I our 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 elections have been pretty secure so that's why I don't like the fact that they're trying to do this last minute it's also going to cast doubt and cast uh, insecurity on the elections it's going to make people think that something's up something's fishy when very well it may not be um I'm just saying, it opens the door for cheating. Uh, I'm not saying they are going to. So improving the mail-in ballot process, that, to me, uh, with both accessibility and maintaining integrity in mind. Yeah, okay. The liberals and integrity, those two don't coexist. Uh, They have none. They don't have any integrity. So I think if you look at all those items, those are all require some kind of legislative change. I don't know who Blakey is. But, uh, yeah. These are the three things I want to change. Allow an expanded three-day voting period during election, general elections. Allowing voters to cast their ballots at any polling station uh, within their writing. And improving the mail-in ballot process by uh, with both accessibility and maintaining integrity in mind. I don't even know what they mean by that, uh, accessibility. Um, it's mailing. It's mail-in ballot. I mean, what what accessibility uh, accessibility options can they add to make it easier for someone to to lick a stamp, put it on? Oh, you don't even have to lick a stamp. Never mind. To be able to close the envelope and send your ballot in. <laughs> what accessibility uh, can you add to that? It's like it's so easy already. All you have to do is is mark your ballot, put it into an envelope, and send it off. What are they talking about? Is accessibility. I think what they're doing is like mail and ballot. I really don't know what they mean by accessibility. It's, it seems ridiculous to me. But uh, yeah, those are the three changes. I just wanted to document that for my for my own uh, purposes, future reference. And with that, that uh, with that said, that's the uh, end for this one. Uh, peace. See you in the next. One.